Well, welcome back everybody to our online program and just sort of a grab bag of things that I find kind of amusing. So, and the reason I find them amusing is that in spite of 40 or 50 years of scientific research in the field, debunking an awful lot of myths of addiction, every once in a while sort of this old thinking pops up. And one that is uh, particularly grabbed the attention of a lot of people happened on October the 3rd, 2015, when uh, Stephen Harper, who was then the Prime Minister of Canada, stated publicly that marijuana was infinitely worse than tobacco. And a couple of days later, he's on a radio show, and when the interviewer asked him about that and what evidence he had to make that statement. Uh, he assured the interviewer that there was lots of scientific evidence to back that up, which he would leave to his own scientists to explain. Well, since then, like none of his scientists have supported him. In fact, I'm completely unaware of anyone who would support that statement. And this is really kind of curious, right? If you think about this, it's why would like the prime minister actually make a statement that uh, is completely indefensible scientifically. And it's almost like it's only in the addiction field you could get away with that kind of thing, right? Because, but it's this idea that somehow, somehow you can make these outrageous statements and this is completely acceptable, right? So the same thing happened in uh, a year before, in 2014, after the actor Philip Seymour Hoffman passed away. He overdosed on, uh, on heroin. And they actually talked about this in the American Congress. And it was one of the more ridiculous uh, <laughs> displays of... They were basically... People were blaming you know, the President of the United States and the drug policy for Philip Seymour Hoffman's death. And it was, uh, you know, one, one fellow said, it was like, oh, well, you just, uh, you know, it used to be, uh, well, I smoked, but I didn't inhale. Or, uh, you know, I did it, but don't ask me. And now it's, oh, it just, we're just going to throw the doors wide open so everybody can use drugs. Like this, this kind of ridiculous rhetoric, which the journalist picked up, of course, and had some fun with it. But you think about, like, what other... What other field could you actually get away with making these sort of outrageous statements that are completely indefensible? And so that's one of those things that, you know, I get a chuckle out of. It's kind of sad, though. But it is this idea that these old ideas that we, we really have uh, basically relegated to the, uh, you know, the closet, they're just, they keep appearing for some reason, in spite of all the evidence and all the science to the contrary. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode, and we'll be back uh, next time with another one.